Hi guys. Well, today I wanted to talk a little bit about the word anti. So, uh, so it's anti, like anti-government or anti-liberal or anti-war. What it really means that the etymology of this word, rather you want it or not, goes to the word ant or ants. This is like organized insects, you know ants. What we know about ants is that they can construct and uh, they really have roles like casts or this is where you have the word casts from casting or casts well whatever but we know humans are not ants so we go to ants which is Slavic word and we end up to the definition of antis or people antis or anti in Greek were an early Slavic tribal polity which existed in the 6th century blah 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 near the Black Sea modern day Moldova and central Ukraine so what I wanted to say is that if you go to the eth ethno-linguistic affinities here you find that name ant is itself does not appear to be Slavic which is really strange but it's often held to be an Iranian word Pritsakt Saitin Max Vesmer argues that anta means the frontier or the end it also does in Sanskrit which is proven to be the oldest language right now by the so-called science so thus Antia could mean the frontier man okay so let's remember that okay if we go to anti in architecture you can find that in Latin it's an architectural term describing posts of pillars on either side of a doorway or entrance in a Greek temple so here we go with the frontier man frontier or the end and here we go with doorway or entrance which is entrance is also a frontier of a building if you say so okay so it's probably has the same root of this word so what I mean is uh, the Slavic and Greek definition of anta is a frontier or a border or something like this so if you go to Ukrainian uh, definition which means Ukraya which means near the border or near the end or if you want to say so at the end or at the border and this is what well, is really strange because Ukrainians were ants and uh, official science says this that uh, Ukrainians come from the ants if you read this here you can understand this because they say it 
uh, ants were one of the roots of slaves, Slavic or sla slaves, whatever Slavs in Russian, Slaviani, which means the the glorifiers, the ones who glorifying someone, glorifying his god, or, or in Russian the god was the ancestor. So okay, we we clear the, with uh, with this definition, but. The interesting thing is that whatever you go uh, to these uh, roots of the word, we call them roots, you're gonna find that uh, so called Ukrainians uh, were called the lower Russians, and the Russians were called the great Russians, and the white Russians. All right now, Belarus. Okay. Okay. So we have the sense. Um, let's see. So, uh, as I said, ant is ants or organized smart insects. Antis or antis, Slavic tribe, frontier or ant man in Sanskrit. Ant uh, pillars or columns in Greek, in the front of the ant of the temple. And anti against or opposite. Let's uh, follow this. Uh, okay, so we got this word anti. Let's go. Anti should not be confused with anti, which is a prefix of Latin origin meaning before. However, anti does not exist as a variant spelling of anti in some borrowed words, such as anticipate or antipasto but this spelling cannot be used to coin English words. Also we have anti sometimes becomes ant before words beginning in a vowel like antacid. So they got all these variants uh, of ants which is against hostile to pro. Okay what I mean is uh, this word, as I said before, before or after, is some type of uh, changing of state. So it could could also mean uh, passing the border of some state to other state, which is literally means a lot. Not just the state of mind, but state as a country. And so does Ukrainians, because Ukrainians means uh, near the border, near the end. And one of the gods of um, so-called Slavic people was the Perun, who was a god of electricity or lightning, thunder and lightning just like Zeus in the Greek mythology so he was the the highest god of the pantheon and the god of thunder and lightning so this also is equivalent to Greek Zeus Roman Jupiter uh, Thor Christian equivalent of Eli Saint George Hinduism equivalent in Indra and Baltic equivalent to Percunus. Okay. So, very, very interesting as you see. And as we know, the Perun also means thunder in Russian. Perunitsa is a thunder. And it's also a runic, uh, runic, runic symbol. Looks like a thunder also. 
and in uh, so called uh, his other attributes were fire, mountains, wind, the oak, iris, eagle, or the firmament. 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 Very, very interesting. Okay. You see what I mean. Um, let's go to Prometheus. Prometheus. Prometheus was a titan of God, or maybe um, we call them we call them semi gods, something like this. So he was a titan. Titans are big giants, big giants, not just giants, but big giants. And uh, if you say titan, you also mean. Titan, because this is not this is not spelled sometimes. I mean pronounced. Uh, look at the words with consistent anti. Sometimes you say any any government. You just also you say anti, but you pronounce any. Just the uh, the pronunciation which become the origin original right now. So uh, okay, and the giant gi ant. Okay, you also have at ant. When you say about Atlanteans, you also mean Antians. Just the different ants. Ants had different because they were border people. Border people means frontier people. Means the Finnish and the ant and the beginning people. Okay? So this is very interesting very very interesting because when you talk about Crimea as an ancient Atlantis uh, place you see a bunch of evidence of, of Crimea being flooded and destroyed uh, destroyed very much and I've showed pictures of Crimean war and uh, we follow that a little bit later. I mean, we have to make a video about this one. So Perun and uh, the Prometheus, the Prometheus, is probably the Titan who was against the Perun because he stole the fire from him, and the eagle, which symbolizes Perun, was. Uh, was the one what, that was punishing Prometheus for stealing the fire and bringing him to people. In fact, the name of Prometheus means uh, stealing in, let's say, Say, let's say, let's say, let's say. Okay, the etymology of the theonym Prometheus is debated. Debated, the classical view is that it signifies forethought, as that is the brother Epiphemetheus denotes afterthought. It has been theorized that it de de derives, derives from the Proto Indo. European root that also pr produces the Vedic premath to steal, hence Prometheus is a thief. So uh, the forethought was transformed to a thief. Uh, I mean, the thief was transformed to a forethought, and uh, 
no worries that's my cat um, so the forethought was trans transferred from the thief and got the other uh, meaning so it was bad first in origin and then it became the forethought which is rather good because forethought is a very very nice thing so this is kind of uh, says that Prometheus was a good guy but in fact he stole the fire but he gives it to humanity an act that enables progress and civilization what does it mean giving a fire to humanity uh, think about it maybe this is uh, the fire that was burning all these trees which don't exist right now in Russia and many other countries maybe this is what was the fire that uh, made us eaten what we eat today not being raw or whatever you call it raw veganism maybe we had it and uh, now we don't have it because for a couple of decades there were no good weather and we couldn't grow food and we became what we are today just people eating whatever we want to eat because we cook it and we change the taste of the original thing nobody would have you know eat bloody bone of an animal but when you cook it you have a nice soup or nobody would have uh, taste something weird but when you cook it it becomes not bad as a chicken sometimes you know how I, I, I won't say what it is but you you understand what I mean everybody heard the stories and so on and so forth so people became who we became this is fire this is fire we had the lightning the thunder god and then the Prometheus the Titan which descended to give us the fire think about it and he is a very 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 well sighted person a bunch of reference about look at this it's just 95 references here and here we have a reference also the oldest one is 1873 so nothing earlier than that which is also uh, very very interesting because um, here's the big list here also but not very much references that is older than that so this is 19th century why don't we have anything about Prometheus uh, before that maybe 17th 18th century which is supposed to be an old old story a Greek, Greek mythology why don't we have it maybe because it was made up after the edition to change the definition of what Prometheus done And you know we have um, a big debate about it with my one one of my friends. So he's like arguing that Prometheus was a very good person. In fact, he was uh, clumped to a rock in the Caucasus. I'm gonna go to Caucasus next summer and probably film some mountains there. To see what we have, we have a bunch of dom uh, dolmens, which is like huge megalithic little houses or whatever you call them, little constructions. But they're huge. 
in fact. Uh, bum, 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 bum. So Prometheus probably was uh, edited by this propaganda which uh, parasites had put to um, hide all this truth about ants, giants, titans and made ants as a enemy which is against or oppose opposing what you uh, have in your propaganda because they lived uh, across the border and they could move and see the information they had a bunch of uh, technologies as we see because the constructions of, of ants are still standing and we fi can find them most likely in all the, all these European cities and they were covered sometimes with a big layer of mud so this is uh, the point of my research and um, I'm not really I never said that Christians had a great civilization or something like this and sometimes people tell it as an age of renaissance there were no renaissance and Christ, Christian uh, civilization if you call it antique if you call it ancient this is ants civilization not, not Christian so think about it there's the same guys run right in front of your eyes they've been called our enemies and uh, the person who betrayed ants the Prometheus maybe this is, was not just one person but uh, he was the leader of them he was punished by the higher ant whose name was Peron and he was Zeus or sometimes even people call him Jesus because they seem find this similar but whatever you call him he is the one who punished the Prometheus and made the Titan pay for what he stole so probably he was not good but now he is pictured as a good person we're gonna find uh, I hope we're gonna find the true definition of what happened and uh, see more information about Prometheus one person gave me a bunch of links about him today so I'm gonna like watch a bunch of videos about the topic because one of these Russian researchers uh, covers all this Prometheus stuff and all this um, parasitic control uh, how they got in control and stuff like that but in fact I don't like um, what he says about uh, cosmos and uh, moon and stuff like this but I think I'm gonna manage this and uh, still do the, the, the viewing of his <laughs> work but whatever I'm gonna uh, tell you guys what is what that was all about sooner or later because I don't have much time to watch it really but I hope I'll have it well whatever so my thinking is what ends is I've tell I've told you what my thinking is what I'm thinking about it and this is what probably the origin of what happened because uh, what those who uh, got control they wanted to get rid of its ants people, all those giants, titans, whatever uh, probably uh, they were massacred to get rid of this uh, evidence and after that it was covered with all those mud which was probably opened at the miners site in all those little cities and big cities in ancient times they were they were all 
built by miners because mining was producing the uh, concrete as a by byproduct so when you do that you have a free material to build the walls to build huge megalithic blocks in uh, to build whatever you want because it's just the construction material and they were not as stupid as they tell us they were not building just concrete blocks they were building with rebars and metal uh, reinforcement they were building high uh, multi-story building which are now um, represented as the 18th 17th century building but not really because they were just renovated at that time and big 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 temples churches all of them were covering the story of the previous civilization because all those buildings were stolen with the Prometheus and as it stole the history stole the fire stole the gods will and let those parasites flow here and so we have it we have them everywhere so this is was just uh, my point of view I'm not telling you to totally agree with me I'm gonna research it and I'm gonna have more thoughts about it sooner or later I'm gonna make a, a more full video maybe after I make a documentary about the uh, mud flood so this is what I'm thinking and probably I'm gonna ha have more videos about that next year so thanks all for watching see you later